Hi everyone, back on the Power Apps Art Project, uh, Rory Neary from Data Spinners here. Uh, today we are going to show a big photo. Uh, what I really mean here is that when you're on your app itself and you go to your screen and you click on it and it's kind of small, so wouldn't it be nice to be able to go to a bigger version of the same photograph? So the way you do that is what we're going to do is we are going to get ourselves a uh, create ourselves a new screen. So what we're going to do is going to go onto this line item screen and I am going to duplicate hopefully I'm going to duplicate this is my first thing and I'm going to get rid of um all the other bits and pieces. It's just so that I've got my home button and so on on there. So I'm going to go on to not that one there. I'm going to go on to my duplicated screen and I'm going to start deleting bits and pieces so delete that off, I don't need that, I don't need that, I don't need this here, uh, I don't need the line item, I was just going to check what's in there, yeah do you know what, I, I will delete this, oops, uh, icons, I'm happy with that, I'm happy with that and I'm happy with that, so what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to go insert, I'm on the insert tab already, insert uh, I'm going to go image and we are going to just do an enormous image and but the big problem with this is we haven't actually got anything in there it says sample image at the moment so we're going to jump back onto our all projects page and what we're going to do is a little bit of trickery here so what we're going to do is we are going to take this image uh, we're going to store it in memory and we're going to make it so that we can um, see that as a big photo. Let's see if we can actually do that. So what is this image itself? Um, we are looking at... Uh, so if we look at the uh, property there, it's an image and we can see that it's the gallery one dot selected final project uh, IMG. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some trickery here where we go to on select so on select what do we want it to do and we're going to do use a command called set uh, which is a global var uh, and, we're gonna, and I'm going to start it off as calling it GV which is short for global variable uh, and I'm going to call it big photo uh, and then we into that we're going to put the gallery one dot selected dot uh, I think it's called image final project image is the um, item that's selected. So basically the moment we click on that, that's going to pop that into memory. So what we can do on that is we can hit the play button. All right, in fact, I'm going to come off there and first of all I am going to go into the file. I'm pretty sure we can look at variables down here and let's have a look at these global variables. You can actually see there's no value on here. This will be interesting to see what, how it does it because I haven't really done much on this before. But what's going to happen is we're going to jump onto here, we're literally going to click it, and we're going to come off, and we're going to go onto the, um, onto the variables part. Apparently variables are actually relatively new, so let's just see how easy it is to visualize this now. In fact, what we can see here is that um, it doesn't understand that it's an image, but you're going to have to trust me here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to jump onto our well it says line items I'm going to I'm going to call it rename it to call um screen big photo okay good click on there and then into that we're going to put big photo gv group uh, global variable big photo and kablamo it goes in there so what do we need to do from here we need to go back to this original screen um, which is our all projects page we need to click on there and the next thing that we need to do is as well as doing that we need to navigate um, navigate to SCR big uh, so SCR big photo and I'm just going to put a uh, comma uh, and then put the fade and then close brackets and what that means is when we click on it we will navigate to a larger version of the same photo so I am just going to jump onto here press the play button click on this 
and hey presto that does actually work and I move back by doing this so there is a reason uh, and I can sort of demonstrate that you know if I click on a different one and then click on that item we're bouncing through again and we can hit the back button and I think that's pretty cool now the reason why I have gone for this global variable approach is because um, I want to be able to use the same logic down here so what we're going to do is um, I'm going to grab this bit of text here and I'm going to go on select um, I am going to do uh, set uh, GV big photo got a capital H in now I never do that uh, big uh, is equal to let's think 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 um, I'm going to copy and paste that uh, this item uh, IMG and then I'm going to do and then I'm going to go navigate um, SCR uh, big photo and then fade so yeah just uh, navigate uh, screen big photo let me just check that's actually going to do it yeah fade uh, close the brackets and then if we hit the play button at the top we should be able to click on here and that takes us through and if we hit the back button back and if we click on this item uh, it goes now look in my book I think that's really cool actually um, th there are some there are some things that need to be done on it but um, starting to get starting to feel like something you know it's not actually too bad um, so thanks everyone I uh, hope you're enjoying this and uh, yeah catch up next time please like all that sort of stuff cheers guys bye